Hey guys, I'm back. It's round two, and uh, it's Germany's first turn. So, uh, Germany starts out with $100, and um, basically what I want to do is, this is where everybody gets stuck. As everybody knows, you got to wipe out the British Navy. Everybody knows you don't attack Russia. Everybody knows you're going to take over France. The only real problem in round one is seeing if you're going to give these lower uh, countries to Italy or not. That's about it. Um, so this is where everybody gets stuck, and so I'm going to start doing alterations. Um, all the different things that could happen, all the different things that you uh, could do, and the different things that you should do depending on your situation. So now um, i got two buys here. Uh, the top one is for if you're going to go towards Russia, and the bottom one is if you're going to go towards Great Britain Operation Sea Lion. So this is Operation Sea Lion, this is Operation Barbarossa, basically in a sense. Now, everybody always asks, why do you buy these naval units if you're going uh, Operation Barbarossa? Well, the reason why is because I believe that Great Britain needs a strong navy. I mean, it just, it just makes sense. If you add an aircraft carrier destroyer and a submarine here in, uh, to this navy, and then you can use this submarine up here in the north block, uh, keep in that sea zone and block Russia's five extra dollars from their national objective, that's just all the better. Plus, if you have a strong navy, then it means uh, that America has to do better. That means that they have to have a stronger navy, and they have to have a navy that can beat yours and withstand an attack. Especially since Germany has all these air units, um, if they're combined with a naval assault on the American navy, uh, the American navy has to withstand that. So that's more money, more time. Uh, it just buys you more time, in a sense. Plus, if you have a strong navy, you can uh, destroy these uh, these Russian naval units, and if Great Britain tries to buy naval units, you can just pick them off one at a time, and you can take the hits on your battleship and aircraft carrier, and then go back to naval bases and heal them. And so it's just better all around if you have a, a strong navy. All right, so I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do personally because I'm going to look at the board, and looking at the board situation, I am not ready for a Russia uh, encounter. Russia's not ready yet either. They have uh, retreated, so we don't have to worry about them yet. So we have the opportunity to go Operation Sea Lion. Plus, Great Britain, they bought uh, infantry, but they spent all of their air units down here in the, in the Mediterranean. So it takes away their big defensive... The, it takes away their heavy units, so they're much more vulnerable. Plus, if we take it, that means America has to come in, withstand a naval and air force barrage and they have to take over Great Britain back then move into mainland Europe so uh, it's sounding pretty good to me so I'm gonna go Operation Sea Lion plus I tend to go Operation Sea Lion just because that's the type of person I am um, I've done it many times it's worked really well um, makes sense to me at this point now if Great Britain had, was stingy and kept everything on Great Britain and Russia was on my doorstep um, I'd probably go Operation Barbarossa. So I'm going to show you what I would do if I was going to do Operation Barbarossa. So what I'd do is I would go into two simultaneous thrusts. I'd go from Romania and from Poland. Poland would go towards Leningrad, and Romania would go towards Ukraine. i take those two factories, and then those become my front bases. Then I can build uh, tanks or infantry, help bolster my, my army, and then I can swoop down in here, maybe flank out the capital, or come down here into the Caucasus and get all the money, all the national objectives, maybe take Volgograd, take away all of Russia's money, and then I can go in for Moscow. Or if Russia gives me an opening, then I can cut right in, blitz some tanks and some mechs, take over Moscow, Russia's gone, into the game. So what I would do is I would take these units from Bulgaria and all these units from Yugoslavia and move them into Romania. And then I move all these units from Germany here into Poland. And then I take about half of my air force and send them into Poland because um, the northern factory is going to be decently hard to take. And I want to take it with one swooping move. A um, few losses as possible. Take that factory. Then I don't have to worry about Russia coming into Norway and taking that over. And then I can uh, move the air units down here and take over Ukraine with my uh, southern army. So these guys move there, these guys move there. Half the Air Force goes into Poland. I'd fix that. I'd move these infantry here into Karelia, take that dollar. Move these two into Finland. Uh, keep Russia from sending tanks and blitzing in and taking Norway. And then I'd take the submarine, uh, and I'd take these submarines, 
and I would go convoy raid Great Britain to death. Uh, strategic bombing raids, bomb them, you know. Uh, you know, normal stuff you do to Great Britain while you're going after Russia. However, we're going Operation Sea Lion, so this is what I'm going to do Operation Sea Lion wise. So this battleship is fixed. Keep my navy here because then I'm going to place all those naval units there. Um, take the sub here, convoy raid in C zone 109. And now, I was thinking earlier that I would use these German subs to come in and destroy these, these French units, but these French units have moved too far off that I can't really reach them. I would go 1 2, and then I'd be sitting ducks that could come in a 1 2, and then subs are not good on defense, they're better for offense. So, I'm going to take them and come in here to C zone 109. Plus, it'll stop this destroyer from bringing those units back, and I can convoy raid. Uh, not Great Britain down. They can't uh, take. Uh, they can't spend as much money, buy as many units to help defend them. So that's basic gist. Now, what I've bought is I've bought an uh, aircraft carrier destroyer, submarine, and ten transports. So ten transports, along with that transport, will be eleven. So we're going to need eleven infantry. So we're going to move the eleven infantry from Germany over to Western Germany. Um, we got all our planes here into Western Germany. And then we're going to need uh, six tanks, which, well, what I like to do is I like to do six tanks and five artillery. That's about as half and half as you can get, and tanks are better than artillery, so that's why I do that. So we got five tanks from France, move into western Germany. A tank from Norman, Normandy will blitz into western Germany. And now the mechs are going to stay here. The four mechs are going to stay in France, and that's what's going to help protect France in a sense along with these any aircraft guns because we're not going to attack anybody we're just going to convoy raid this this round we might do a little bit of strategic bombing just to make them mad yeah why not we'll send in the two bombers we'll do a little strategic bombing we'll risk it uh, we've got the advantage with air superiority at this point I'm gonna take this fighter back from Italy there's no use for that since I'm not sending the subs down in there um, and then I'm going to move these three artillery from France. Whoa, lost an artillery piece. All right. So we got three artillery. And we need two more, so we'll take two from Germany. All right, so now I think we're all set. We've got six tanks, five artillery. And then we've got uh, five, uh-oh, where did my uh, tactical bomber go? I think my tactical bomber is the thing that actually fell on the ground. Okay, so we should have uh, f five tactical bombers, five fighters, and then 11 infantry. Hopefully the two bombers will survive. We'll have two bombers. And so I think we're uh, going pretty good at this point. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to build a wall per se, uh, not really a wall. Uh, capital needs to be defended a little bit, but I like to hold on to the southern part because Italy can't afford to have any Russian units coming to their backside. Plus, it keeps all the Russian units down here in the, in the south, which means that once Operation Sea Line's over with, I can use the transports to come in and take that factory easy, and then uh, uh, focus down here into Ukraine. So probably what we're going to do is we're going to put four infantry here in uh, Slovakia, Hungary, along with this artillery, about like that. And then we're going to put all the other units here into Romania. So we have a good, strong southern defense line. And I think that's about it. Yeah, Russia doesn't really have a lot of Air Force units for me to move these up. I'm probably going to leave them, and uh, I'll send them later, depending. All right, let's go ahead and roll, and that'll be the end of uh, Germany's turn after I place on. Oh, I forgot. Um, we're not gonna, we're not moving into Russia yet, so that doesn't matter. Um, but we're going to take these two infantry here into Finland, make that nine infantry. So now we got a decent front there as well. We can send those in, use some transports, and send some tanks. All right, so let's go ahead and roll. So we've got the two strategic bombers, so let's go ahead and roll the two dice, see if there are any aircraft guns hit. And one hit. I knew I probably shouldn't have risked it, but, you know, it's 
the game. What's the fun if there's no risk, right? All right, so we'll go ahead and roll and see what damage we do. We did three. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. That means it's $3 that they're going to have to fix. I'm fine losing a bomber. That's all right. Jeremy, I got the money. I can deal with that. All right, and then we'll convoy raid. So two dice per sub. There's three, so that means six dice. Three or less get to hit, so let's see what happens. Well, we only took three dollars away. That's kind of depressing, actually. All right. So one, two, three. So I took away three dollars. Damage their factory three. So in a sense, if Great Britain fixes it, uh, that will have cost them six dollars. Six dollars. That's two infantry. So hey, every little bit helps, right? All right. I think that's it because we don't want to move in on Russia. I want to keep that extra five dollars going. So we'll place our units. So now we've got our 11 transports with our battleship, cruiser, submarine, destroyer, and aircraft carrier. All right, we're looking pretty good. All right, and then we can uh, go up Russian Sea Line next turn. We got some units to defend our backside for now. Um, we'll see what kind of money Germany makes. Uh, Alright, I will see you guys in the next round.